Hi everyone. Welcome to episode three of our time with Mrs. Katz and Tush. This is a beautiful story about the love and connection between an unlikely friendship between Mrs. Katz and Larnell and their connection with this little stray kitty named Tush. And in this last episode of the story, we're gonna find out more about the Passover Seder that Mrs. Cash Katz is sharing with Larnell. Passover is a Jewish holiday and a Seder is a special dinner that is observed during that special holiday and others. Um, and a, in this episode, you're also going to hear the word Bubby, which means grandmother, and the word Kaddish, which means prayer, and the word matzah, which means a thin clack cracker bread that's enjoyed during Passover. So I hope that those of my friends who observe Passover can share with me if I've misspoken about any of those pronunciations or definitions. I would appreciate the feedback. Okay, so here uh, Mrs. Katz has just learned that Larnell is gonna be joining her for the Passover Seder and uh, she's thrilled because since her husband Myron has died, she's been lonely during these times. Passover is a good time for food, Mrs. Katz shouted as they edged their way through the crowd at the deli. Like your people, my people were slaves too. They lived in a country where they didn't want to be. They wanted freedom so much that they prayed to God to help them. So he sent an angel, an angel that brought death and sadness to the houses of our captors. But that angel did not visit the houses of my people. So Mrs. Katz in that little section is telling the, the ancient story of how Passover began. How did the angel not kn know where the Jews lived? Larnell asked. They marked the doors. Then the angel passed over. Pass over, Larnell. That's why we call this time of celebration Passover. So Larnell, we have a big feast to celebrate, but we also remember those who had to suffer so we could be free, Mrs. Cat said. Part of the dinner is sad and part of it is happy. So in this page, Mrs. Katz is reminding Larnell that they can draw strength from those who suffered before them, but came through a time of enslavement. As Larnell helped get out the linens in the kitchen, Mrs. Katz said, you see this tablecloth? This was our wedding hoopa, our canopy, for all these years, we have used it for holy days and celebrations. How come you have so many dishes? Larnell asked. Because some Jews don't eat dairy and meat off the same dishes, she answered. When they sat down to Seder together, Mrs. Katz lit two candles and waved her hands over them. She read from her book, said prayers and smiled and said, let the feast begin. They drank red wine and water. They ate bitter herbs, lamb and chicken. They also had gefilte fish and spicy chopped apples with potato pancakes. This bread looks like a soda cracker, Larnell ex exclaimed. We call it matzah, dear. We eat it at Pass Passover. It's flat because there is no yeast in it, so it doesn't rise. Larnell, I have hidden one piece of matzah here in the apartment. If you can find it, I have a surprise for you. The surprise was a hand knit sweater that she had made just for him. The next day, Mrs. Katz yelled from 
out her back window to Larnell's apartment. Come quickly, come quickly already, something wonderful. Larnell and his mother and dad rushed up to her door. The angel of death passed over, but the angel of life didn't. Masaltov Tush, four babies. I am a bubby. <laughs> so bubby means grandmother, and now Mrs. Katz is finally a bubby to the kittens that Mrs. that Tush had. This is my favorite page. As the years passed, Mrs. Katz, Tush, and her descendants became part of Larnell's family. There were graduations, weddings, new babies, and finally a caddish. Larnell stood in front of the headstone. He read from her book. He placed a small rock on top of her headstone. Then he, his wife, and their children read the inscription together. Mrs. Katz, our Bubby, such a person. I just, I, I love and appreciate the way that Patricia Polacco weaves such beautiful love into her stories. And, and in that final episode, we find out about the ways in which Larnell grew up loving um, Mrs. Katz and being a part of her family and they enjoyed weddings and graduations together and then finally Mrs. Katz passed away but Larnell brought his family to honor her the way that she brought him to honor her husband Myron. So a beautiful story of friendship. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, Again, our story time is now connected to our ELA focus lesson, so please uh, go to your ELA focus lesson for today and um, read and reflect on this story, Mrs. Katz and Tush.